You should recall from previous videos that strong acids completely dissociate in water. Because of this, the ionization equation for strong acids has a one-directional arrow. So for example, in an aqueous solution of nitric acid, we would have aqueous nitric acid reacting with water in a liquid phase to produce aqueous hydronium ions and aqueous nitrate ions. As a result, it should be clear that for strong acids, the initial concentration of the strong acid, in this case nitric acid, is going to be equal to the equilibrium concentration of the hydronium ion. This situation makes it easy to calculate the pH for a strong acid solution. Let's see an example of how easy it is to find the pH for a strong acid solution. In this problem, we're asked to find the pH of a 0.047 molar solution of hydrochloric acid. We begin the problem by recognizing that HCl, hydrochloric acid, is one of the strong acids we've been asked to learn. Since HCl is a strong acid, we know that the initial concentration of the HCl will be equal to the equilibrium concentration of the hydronium ion, and these will have a value of 0.047 molar. Since we have the equilibrium concentration of the hydronium ion, we can now insert that into the equation for the pH, which is pH equals negative log of the equilibrium concentration of the hydronium ion. So pH equals negative log of 0.047, and when we do that on our calculators, we find that the pH of the solution has a value of 1.33. By now, you should be able to explain why the equilibrium concentration of the hydronium is the same as the initial concentration of a strong acid. You should also be able to calculate the pH of a strong acid in aqueous solution.